This is supposed to be very exciting, according to Mo. I've looked at recently a lot of different folding phones, but apparently like the rarest, coolest folding phone in the world is in this particular box right here, which you wouldn't be able to tell just looking at the exterior. It looks like a pretty normal box. Supposedly, this is available in extremely limited quantities, and I think it's gonna have a cool unboxing experience. What? First of all, there's like a little bag here. Anytime you see a briefcase, you know you're dealing with something special or exclusive. And now we know what we're dealing with. This is the Google Pixel Fold Hip Hop 50th Anniversary Edition, which I didn't even know about. This is like a, wait a second. This is not, this is not just a briefcase. This is a stereo of some kind. You have analog outputs for speakers, DC five volt input for power. This looks like a tape deck. When was the last time you saw one of those? Then we've got speakers on the front and it's all packed into this briefcase. Now maybe before I open this up, I should check what's in this bag. Oh, this is your other accessories. We've got a 30 watt USB-C charger plus cable. Well, that's what you would want for a Pixel Fold. This is your power plug for the briefcase slash stereo. We've also got some Pixel Buds Pro. I guess this was all part of this limited edition version. This little bag houses your USB-C to A adapter, a SIM tool. Ah, now this is an extra needle. I, I believe there's going to be some sort of vinyl record player aspect to this as well. Yeah, that's what it looks like. What is this? This is a record. Oh, cool. 50th anniversary in celebration of hip hop's 50th and they have an actual like date on that. They know it's been exactly 50 years of hip hop. I wonder what the initial moment of hip hop was. Anyway, that's cool. It's indelible, undeniable impact on culture. You're one of only 400 to receive this limited edition HH50 Google Pixel Fold. 392 out of 400 total units. Ooh, run the jewels, cool. Look at this little 45. Terrible 2's instrumental produced by DJ Premier and Terrible 2's vocal version produced by DJ Premier. Cool. Some extra items in here as well. Is there some sort of jewelry in here? Ah, so there's also a digital aspect. You have some digital music, plug in, power on the record player, and it has Bluetooth. Then you scan a QR and you'll actually get some digital content. So somehow this is a record player, but they've also fit the device in this package. Whoa. The fold is in the center. There's some bling, it's all G, some bling over here. This is extremely exclusive and therefore uh, fairly expensive. And then also on the secondary market when obviously they were all sold out. They fit in the Pixel Buds. These look like standard Pixel Buds. Oh, wow. But the, the fold itself is definitely different. We have this matte black finish on the back and you can see the Hip Hop 50 in the camera visor section. Now, I would have to compare this to the standard. These colors are obviously different. So the matte black portion is the same. The difference is the frame and other metallic components, which has like a rose gold kind of look to it on the Hip Hop 50 version compared to the standard Pixel, which is like a sort of a darker polished black. As far as the software goes, it looks standard. I don't think there's anything extra. It looks like stock pixel behavior. So the thing about this device, it has such a beautiful external display as far as folding phones go. And you can get a lot done on this display. And in many cases, things are formatted beautifully for it because it is a more traditional smartphone display. So for example, if I'm just loading up NordVPN, which happens to be our VPN of choice, and also one of our partners here in the show, you can see that it fits in as it would on a non-folding smartphone. Now, the reason we like NordVPN here is because it allows you to unlock region-locked content that you wanna watch from other places around the globe. These different companies try to block it off so you can't see what you wanna see. Sometimes even if I'm scrolling social media, it'll just be like, oh, this uh, sports broadcast chose not to make this content available 
available in your country. And then I can just jump in here and be like, well, guess what? Now it is available because I am gonna connect to the United States instead. And I have 16 different cities to choose from. And it's not going to affect my streaming quality because this is a premium VPN service with plenty of bandwidth. It's really just one click in order to enable this. Now, a premium VPN service like NordVPN is also going to enhance your security and privacy online. Head down to the description of this video for your chance to check it out. It's nordvpn.com slash unbox therapy if you want to type it in and there is a promo. You'll get some extra months free if you use the link down in the description. Thank you to NordVPN. Now, otherwise, this is essentially a standard pixel fold, uh, other than the color and the badge on there, which is cool enough because there really aren't any exclusives when it comes to this particular device. And actually, if I had to decide between the two, I might like this lighter frame. It kind of just enhances some of those uh, pixel specific elements like the visor stylings there. I don't know. It's a subtle difference. It's not like a it's not one of those type of gold, which it, it, it's not like a super shiny goldish gold. It's it's more like a somewhere between silver with like a little bit of a rose aspect to it. So I don't know, it's a personal preference thing, but this one feels slightly more special compared to the standard. Oh, slide this piece out. Here is the record player. Very important. Follow instructions before using the turntable. I know how to use these turntables. They say very important, I put it to the side. So this is kind of a new portable turntable where you have a number of different possible inputs for audio. You have line in if you wanna use a mini jack cable. You have a headphone output and you've got RCA jacks on the back if you wanna to go to a separate speaker system because the built-in speakers are obviously not huge. And then lastly, it's also got Bluetooth built in. So you're gonna be able to connect your device wirelessly and send music to these speakers that way. Oh, and I almost forgot, I didn't know these existed. I don't have a cassette tape to test this, but then this thing is like an analog wonder in the sense that you can play your record and play your old cassette mixtapes for those of you that even remember such things. Willie Do actually did track down a cassette tape. So why don't we just try that first? This happens to be a banger, by the way, which was used in a Walkman video that we posted a short on, which you should definitely go check out. But anyway, let's try it here. <laughs> for those of you that don't know, this is the Sony Walkman demonstration tape from one of the earliest Walkmans ever sold in order to get you started listening to portable music. Let me just check the other side of the tape. I'm trying to remember each one. So th that was uh, symphony number eight. This must be jungle strut. Okay, neither of those tracks are hip hop. So they're not exactly fitting as far as the 50 year anniversary of hip hop is concerned, but it proves the cassette player does function. So if you have these old Walkman tapes or otherwise, you can slap them in there. But really what we're here for is this 45. And I watched a couple of other videos just quickly here because I was curious, like, does everybody get the same uh, record? It looks like everyone doesn't. They, they, I don't know, I might be wrong, but it seems like each one is unique. So we're gonna slap on our little 45 adapter here. Gotta remove the little protector. Move the needle over, drop it down. Definitely copyright infringement territory. So do love run the jewels though. So that's kind of cool. The record player, it's like there's a novelty aspect here, obviously, because these speakers are so tiny, like it's not gonna knock your socks off, but you do have the RCA outs if you wanna hook this thing up to some external speakers. And it's just like, it's cool that you can carry the whole thing around in a briefcase and it's all kind of like secured and stays in place and like you can lock the arm down, close the whole deal up and like have everything secure in one place. So I don't know, as part of a special or limited edition, I feel like this is pretty creative. You may have hoped for having a device that was slightly more special, like you'll know 
that it's this 50th anniversary edition, but otherwise it's not like slapped all over it. You may appreciate the subtlety of that, or maybe you wish for uh, a more outlandish color, but like collectively with the whole unboxing experience, I think it's pretty special. I think it's pretty cool.